Have you ever looked up at the sky and wondered how those big airplanes fly? It's a question that has intrigued minds both young and old for generations. The answer lies in the magic of flight, a captivating dance of forces and physics that allows these massive machines to soar through the sky. Imagine you're a bird, effortlessly gliding above the treetops. That's what an airplane does, but it's a little more complex. The principle of flight is a fascinating mix of lift and thrust, gravity and drag, all working together in perfect harmony. In this journey, we're going to delve into the heart of this magic. We'll peel back the layers of this mystery and reveal the wonders of aviation. We'll see how these sky dancing giants are able to lift off the ground, maintain their flight, and safely return to Earth. Hold on tight, we're about to take off into the world of airplanes. Airplanes fly high in the sky because of four special forces. Let's start with the first force, lift. Imagine you are holding a kite on a breezy day. As the wind blows against the kite, it rises into the air. That's lift. For airplanes, lift is created by the air flowing over and under the wings. It's like the wings are giving a big, powerful high five to the air above and below them, pushing the airplane upwards. Next, we have weight. Think about when you jump up, you come back down, right? That's because of weight or gravity pulling you back towards the earth. For airplanes, weight comes from the plane itself, the fuel, the passengers, and their luggage. It's like an invisible string pulling the plane downwards, always reminding it to stay humble. Now on to the third force, thrust. Have you ever blown up a balloon and then let it go, watching it zoom around the room? That's a little like thrust. For airplanes, thrust is created by the engines that push the plane forward, just like how you push a swing to make it go higher and faster. Lastly, we have drag. Imagine you're running as fast as you can, but you're running through water. It's harder, isn't it? That's because of drag. In the sky, airplanes face a similar challenge. The air pushes against the airplane, trying to slow it down. It's like the air is playing a game of tug of war with the airplane. So, there you have it. The four forces that help airplanes soar through the sky. Lift, weight, thrust, and drag. Each one of them plays a special role, like actors in a play working together to create the magic of flight. Remember these four forces because they are the magic behind every airplane flight. Now that we know about these forces, let's see how an airplane uses them to take off. Let's imagine we're on a jumbo jet, ready for an exciting journey. As we buckle up, the plane starts to move slowly on the runway. This is where the story of our takeoff begins. Our airplane, like a sprinter at the start line, is building up energy, ready to race. The engines roar to life, turning fuel into a powerful force that pushes the plane forward. This force is called thrust. As the thrust increases, our plane starts to speed up along the runway. The wheels start turning faster and faster, and so does our heart, matching the tempo of the accelerating plane. Now, the wings come into play. Remember the shape of the wings we talked about? That unique shape helps the air move faster over the top of the wings than below them. This difference in speed creates an upward force called lift. As we race down the runway, the lift grows stronger and stronger. It battles with gravity, the force that's been keeping us on the ground. It's a tug of war between the two, but our airplane is determined. With every passing second, it's gaining more speed, more power. Finally, the moment of truth arrives. The lift becomes stronger than gravity. Our plane, like a bird spreading its wings, lifts off the ground. We're flying. We feel a little lighter, a little giddy, as the ground starts to fall away beneath us. But what about the fourth force, drag? Drag tries to slow us down, but our mighty engines keep producing enough thrust to overcome it. And just like that, we're climbing higher and higher, leaving the world behind. And just like that, the airplane is up in the sky, thanks to the four magical forces. So the next time you see an airplane taking off, remember the epic battle between these forces and the thrilling journey that takes us from the ground to the clouds. But how do airplanes stay up in the sky without falling down, you might wonder? Well, it's all about a beautiful dance, a dance of four forces. Imagine you're on a seesaw in the playground. You're sitting on one side and your best friend is on the other. If you both weigh the same, the seesaw stays level, right? But what happens if you have a really big lunch and now you're a little heavier? You go down and your friend goes up. This is just like how airplanes fly. Airplanes are like seesaws in the sky, balancing between four forces. On one side, there's the force of gravity pulling the airplane down, just like you on the seesaw after a big lunch. On the other side, there's lift, which is the force that pushes the airplane up. It's like your friend on the seesaw trying to get you back up into the air. In front of the airplane, there's drag, which is like a strong wind trying to push you backwards as you run. 
But at the back, there's thrust, the force that propels the airplane forward. It's like having a super strong fan blowing you forward as you run against the wind. So for an airplane to fly at a steady level, these four forces need to be in perfect balance. Just like on the seesaw, if one force becomes stronger or weaker, the balance is disturbed and the airplane will either climb higher, descend, speed up, or slow down. Pilots are like master dancers, constantly adjusting the airplane's speed and angle to keep these four forces in harmony. They use the airplane's engines to control thrust, and they adjust the wings to control lift. It's a delicate dance and it happens every time an airplane soars high in the sky. So, the next time you're on a seesaw, think about how it's just like an airplane balancing in the sky. So, next time you see an airplane flying, remember it's all about balancing those four forces. Not all airplanes are the same. There are many different types, each with its own special job. Let's start with passenger planes, perhaps the most familiar type of airplane. These are the big birds that carry us from place to place when we go on vacations or visit relatives in far off places. They can carry hundreds of passengers at once. Imagine a bus, but it's in the sky and way bigger. Fun fact, the largest passenger plane in the world is the Airbus A380, and it can hold over 800 people. That's like a whole school flying through the sky. Next, we have cargo planes. These are like the delivery trucks of the sky. They don't usually carry people, but instead transport goods and packages. Ever wondered how your online orders arrive so quickly? Well, cargo planes play a big part in that. They work all day and night, zipping across the globe. Here's a fun fact. The Antonov N-225 Maria is the largest cargo plane in the world. It's so big that it can carry up to 50 full-sized cars. That's a lot of packages. Finally, let's talk about fighter jets. These are the speedsters of the sky, built for agility and speed. They are used by the military and can perform amazing maneuvers that other planes can't. They can go faster than the speed of sound. Imagine being able to travel faster than you can hear. How cool is that? Fun fact, the fastest fighter jet in the world is the NASA X-43, and boy is it fast. It can reach speeds over 7,000 miles per hour. That's faster than a cheetah. So there you have it, the magic of flight and the amazing world of airplanes.